All right, let's see if I can squeeze in another one, shall we? Um, I just started the upload of the first. Oh, right. Items. Let's grab the next key and start the next one. Some of these trials are actually not particularly difficult, like the last one that you saw. Well, to be fair, that was the first one, so. And some of these trials are more puzzles than actual difficulty. I don't remember which trials are which anymore, other than the last one, and... I know I remember the trials, I just don't remember the order of them. Well, let's find out. Oh, that's right. I removed the save state button, so I stopped hitting it. Oh, damn it. There we go. Leave. It's the same text every time. Fear thee well! All right. What trial do we have this time? Also, good kitten internet. How you doing? Oh, this one. This one is obnoxious. So, this is the All Archer Challenge. Or alternately, Oops All Archers. Every enemy on the board is an archer. Um, we have seen all of the archers that are on this battle. They are all Ashes level, once more level 22. But keep in mind that... The archer ranges are different based off of which archers they are. These two crimson archers are going to be the bane of our existence. This is also a really bad battle to have a bunch of flyers on. Luckily, we actually have a balanced breakfast. Yeah, we'll go with breakfast. Nope. So, for reference, we are always going to be defending from the front. Well, maybe not always, but... Primarily defending from the front, and the reason being is because that's the side that we're going to take the most damage from. Pretty much always. Strange that Clint is the front one. However, keep in mind, we have archers of our own, and I am not going to hesitate to use them. Unfortunately, we're all going to be facing each other every time. On the minus side, they suck at defense. At least those do. Oh, that's actually a good point. I wanted to see. So, let's see. Um, 79 attack, 63 defense. 79 attack, 63 defense. 79 attack, 63 defense. Okay, they all do have the same equipment. So, the equipment itself is irrelevant. It's all 79 attack, 63 defense. It's just the ranges of their attacks that change. Which means... And ev all combat outside of flyers are going to be at the same height, because everything in this combat is the same height. We just need to make sure we open up that chest before we kill the last enemy. That's all. And on this battle, that's not going to be too hard. So here's the problem. This hunter here is absolutely going to move down to this row and fire on Ash. There is no way that they're going to do anything else. This is the downside with always facing front, is that they can sneak around behind you. Also, my flyers are all on this side for some reason. Ew, crap. There's not much I'm going to be able to do about that. So I'm going to make sure my flyers are with healers. So they're probably going to get targeted almost as often as Ash. You're also going to see me casting defensive spells on them, because why not? And yes, I know that means Hux is going to be positioned weird. Also, no slowdown in magic that time. Interesting. I haven't done anything with my computer, so... And Eel and I bringing up the rear. Okay. Yep. Oh, you're going after Sarah instead. Guess you're trying to play Gank the Healer? Oh, it's because multiple of them can target Sarah. Not a problem. Sarah can heal herself. You're going after Dolan. Okay. suppose that's the only one you could have targeted. Not the only, but... So yeah, this is more of an annoying trial than a difficult one.
because now my range is limited as to where I can move. So what I like to do on these trials is always see where my archers can move first, because they're the ones that I want to be the least impeded. And what I'm going to do is have my archer take out the sim. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. You can stand here at best. Uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna have you stand here and take out that hunter, hopefully. Again, we're all facing each other, so there's a lot of chance of block here. Okay, from here, Dolan, you cannot reach. Like that's a surprise. be attacked by two archers doing that i think i can take it although i'm gonna make saves unlike the last battle i can absolutely screw this up <laughs> last battle yeah that would have been really hard to screw up it's cutter time Bonk. we're dead i'm not teeing wrong is gonna take on this one Keep in mind, archers are weak against both guard and sword. So, this is by far the battle with the most number of things that are weak against me. You will notice that I'm also very overextending myself. It's intentional. Um, I'm only being careful with certain units, making sure I don't get caught in a crossfire or anything like that. For the most part, my units are going to be pretty good at fighting things. Um, I really wish I knew what the ranges of various units were. I'm thinking here is actually relatively safe. Not to mention near a healer. Is this actually safe? Um, it might be. I'm going to move to here just in case. I don't think I can even hit her if I tried. Nope. So we are just going to give a really minor healing to Dolan. That's going to heal, what, nine? Ten. I don't understand this game in magic resistance. You'll notice I'm not really using my priest or my spellcasters all that much. The exception is the spellbind archers. It's because they're not going to do enough damage to one-shot them, and it would take three shots to kill them. I only have two mages, so even if they were lumped together, it would still be useless. Paralyzing, on the other hand, is one fewer attack that I'm taking. Also, I may end up just using my mages to melee, because I think they would actually do enough damage to kill these enemies. Yep. Clint is going to be the pincushion this round. Well, Clint and uh, Sarah. Sarah's going to end up having to heal herself this round, I think. Or I might be able to get close enough. Yep. In Cushion Clint. Yeah, only two archers are active right now. This is going to be a really short video, isn't it? All right, let's go ahead and make a save at the top of the round. Clint is barely even injured. You can only hit one of them. Oh, my archer's doing. Yeah, my archers can hit more than one. You can hit this one. Bonk. Yeah, this is by far the best battle in the game to have your own archers on. Um, the one time that I played with Oops All Archers... Or I haven't played with Oops All Archers. I've done three of four archers. Um, this battle was a breeze by comparison. I can only hit that one. Maybe I should just position myself next round. That sounds like a good idea. So 
So I'm concerned about getting in range of the Crimson Guards, but I can take a hit or two at least. Clint, you're actually going to be in charge of making sure I have the Prism. Overloaded? I actually still have... Oh, no, that's right. It's Ash that has it. Yeah, I still have the key in my inventory. That's weird. Okay. Um, time to check a hypothesis. Yep, they're all getting one-shotted. In that case, it's probably not worth me healing Sarah. Because uh, I'm pretty sure nobody else can even hit me. Uh, actually, I might be able to get one shot. But, okay, if everybody can one-shot, then sweet, I have more melee units. Hux, I'm going to try to get you closer. Can you heal Sarah? No. You're two hexes, or two squares off. Can you heal anybody else that's been hit? Only Dolan. Only Dolan. Well, might as well. There you go, Dolan. Have another nine hit points. This is also a really bad battle for Dolan. A lot of these trials are really bad for guardsmen. I mean, I could have gone slow, but why? They're all archers. The only thing I want to do is to make sure that I don't get killed by all of them. And the easiest way to do that is a good offense, honestly. Have you actually reached? Yeah. You can do a fairy star on Clint. That'll work. And Clint's turned to the side, so I'm a little concerned about him. But I think only two archers can hit him. Might as well fairy star. It's not going to hurt. Neil and I. Well, if I would have known that you could one-shot everything, I would have moved you a lot further. Oh, well. Not too many archers left. This is going to be the shortest battle in the game, isn't it? Yeah, as long as she can only be hit by two archers, I'm fine. Or one archer, I'm fine. Yep, I was correct. All right, but we have to worry about them now. First off, Sarah needs healing badly. We are not allowing Sarah to get hit anymore without getting healed first. But we're going to kill everything in our way first. Oh, I forgot to move the archers around first. Um, where are my archers? Kira, you're not actually in a great position to shoot anybody right now. So free Clint. Diego, you're only in a good position to take out that Grenadier. So you're going to. They lived? They have the exact same stats. How did they not get one-shotted? What? They all have 63 defense, but magically some of them take more damage than others? They all have 63 defense. They're all the same class. They're all the same level. Damn it, game! Stop lying with your damn stats. Well, that actually does change things. Because now, it's actually worth it for me to phase shift. So, phase shift. It's a huge waste of magic, but I don't want to have them hanging around. All right. Ultra healing. Uh, Sarah's the only one even injured over here. Let's save us some time. There we go. Sarah's much better now. Now you can go back to kicking ass and taking games. Now that there's only two enemies left, I can just defend in that direction.
But you'll notice that I am no longer rushing everyone there. And the reason's really simple. Because I don't have to get hit, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna let Dolan take hits. Because I think they're actually gonna try to fire on Dolan. I think it'll be Dolan and Kira that they attack. No, Eel and I forgot that they can actually reach Eel and I. Well, luckily, it's still very little damage. Yep, yeah, Eel and I and Clint. Well, I'm pretty sure they're dead on board now. Yep, you can't do anything, but Diego can. Alright. Diego, how much damage are you going to do to the Crimson Archer? How did I not one-shot the Grenadier? All of these spots have 0% terrain effect. I am so confused right now. Well, let's finish this shortest video possible. Done! Done! <laughs> okay, that was a little ridiculous. I feel bad about this being the last video I'm recording today. But I have role-playing tonight, and they'd probably be arriving in the next half an hour. Can I get another video in? I don't think so. Always keep the faith. Let's go ahead and save, and then stop for the day. This video's 17 minutes long. Have a nice day, Internet. I'll talk to you next time.